here's another uh, uh, quote. Uh, and this one, again, pitting love and hate uh, against each other. I prefer to cherish wrongs done to me. <laughs> provocative phrase, my sense of who I am is more determined by what I'm against rather than what I'm for. Right. I'll pray that God can have my loves, but not take my hates. Right. If you take my hates, how will I know who I am? Right. Yeah, I, I, I like that. <laughs> you I wrote, wrote it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I wrote it. The, um, I think that um, it is true that we're more determined by what we're against than what we're for. Yeah. And uh, how to have that transformed into having uh, lives of what we're for uh, rather than what we're against uh, remains an ongoing challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, um, where would I be if I didn't have uh, the church to criticize? <laughs> <laughs> but I love the church, I mean, it's made me what I am. Yeah. Um, as you look out at, uh, a society that that is finding itself in its hate. Mm -hmm. What is your message to that society? Try some courage. Uh, where the what's what we're currently experiencing is the continuing outworking of September the eleventh. Hmm. America is the strongest country in the world that runs on fear. And um, the uh, politics that we currently are experiencing is the politics of fear, hmm. that um, you gravitate toward those that seem strong and promise you safety. And that's very dangerous. The name for it is called fascism. Hmm. And um, while that's probably a too extreme description, it is nonetheless um, not absent from the American psyche.